uh, uh, silent shutter mode. Uh, if I go down low, people won't even know I'm taking a photo. What they call that shooting from the hip. I might take a shot here anyway. Juxtaposition of old and new. And I'll tell you what, I'm getting rid of that silent shutter. You know why? I'm getting rid of the silent shutter. Because I enjoy hearing the sound of the shutter. <laughs> I've heard a few people say that. Mayfair Plaza. This looks like a new mall. Well, relatively new. Oh, like, look at that. Nah, that's shit. Lost, forgotten arcades of the 1980s. And we're back out into the real world. Jesus. Nothing sacred in Parramatta. Even the churches are being knocked down. Yeah. Anyway, back for a good photo. Check that out. I like the light there. Well, there's not much light, but you can't really predict when you're out and about. Just whatever comes your way. Sometimes the theme turns to bloody... Um, it's a bit like my photography. It's a bit like my channel. It's like a ping pong. Ping pong, ping pong. One, one week I'm doing this and one week I'm doing that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, just whatever comes my way. Speaking of which... <laughs> I went and did another gas purchase for a film camera. I bought two cameras. So stay tuned um, and subscribe to the channel so you can find out. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just tell you at the end of this video. Little corky. Hey, Jerry. There's Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's not here today because she's at home sulking that she couldn't come. Jerry can't come today because she's she's all sooky at home. Poor Jerry. All right, let's get back into street photography. What I came here, uh, stick to the plan, Rob. Today is street photography, not bloody building photography. Shooting from the hip. Nobody of knows of that I am taking of the photo of because I'm shooting from the hip. <laughs> anyway, take one there, Jerry, take one of Jerry there. I mean, it's pretty obvious I'm taking a bloody photo. Even though you do it a few times, I mean, I haven't really done it that many times, you still get self-conscious. I even saw uh, that Thomas Heaton when he was, he actually, he stole my uh, industrial disease uh, idea. <laughs> Although, then he went around his local hometown with his infrared camera. Must admit, using infrared was a good idea. I should have thought of that before him. In that video, he was saying that, yeah, he's, uh, he doesn't like filming in front of people or so he's not much of a street photographer. So that's the thing with street photography. You've got to let loose your inhibitions, uh, warm up a bit, and hopefully no one punches you in the face. <laughs> This uh, leaning line here, maybe the shadow, get out of the shadow, cuts, cuts diagonally through the frame. It's a nice, uh, 
me if I get a bit lower. Cuts nicely diagonally through. Get the bus in there even better. Get another bus in there, why not? Get another car. Yeah, but I guess the subject was that um, bus lane and nice colours, the light bouncing. I don't know, it just looked good. There aren't any rules, Rob. Rob, there aren't any rules. You're talking to yourself. There aren't any rules, Rob. All right, let's keep going. I need Jerry. And normally I talk to Jerry. Now I'm just talking to myself. From the Penny Arcades of the 1970s to the new Penny Arcades for the millennial. And you can't get in. Why not? It's Monday to Friday, I guess, for business. But it's on the brochure, it said there's people in there enjoying life, sipping on their lattes, and I prefer the old 70s uh, retro arcades rather than this shit. There's a cleaner there too. Oh, I've got to take a photo there. That's unreal. Let me uh, let me composition it up, and I'll uh, I'll put it up on the screen. This must be Parramatta Square then. Ah, Dumbo Rob. This is it. There's another bloody window cleaner. Wish I had my Zoom. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought my bag and my all my Zooms with me. I'm the lazy photographer. Let's get a photo anyway. So I'm assuming this place midweek or when it's nice and sunny would be a good uh, place to hang around and do some street photography. We don't have many squares in Australia. In Europe you got, you know, Saint you know, Saint Mark's and you know in Italy you've got you know Saint Peter's, whatever in Russia and all these famous squares, you know. Um, but in Australia there's no square. So Parramatta Square is probably the first one. Yeah, that sun right there coming through. I've got a got to eliminate it a little bit because it's too much. So intentional sun rays, and the object is to is to capture life. Capturing, capturing life in the big city. But those rays, those rays would look good. Just smashing down on those people there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Give that a go. Let's go up here. I'm just walking around aimlessly, pretending to be a street photographer. But that's the only way to do it. The more you pretend, the more practice you get. <laughs> the better you are and you pick up new things new skills along the way hey Jerry yes I know Jerry either I'll find the way or I'll make it there you go there's a good theme for today good theme for my photography wait 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 tourist alert tourist alert I'm not a tourist remember I'm a street photographer <laughs> ah, Jerry, where are you, Jerry? You gotta help me. I've come to the top here. I don't know how the hell I ended up here. There's that cleaner again. I can zoom in. No, oh, there's a shot there. Wish I had my bloody zoom. With the cleaner there, a bit blown out, but maybe there's a better angle over here. But I like that um, red tile there, whatever the hell's the roof um, and there, oh there's the shot, alright it was too glary 
So just use your hand and cover the, the, the lens like that. I mean, this thing doesn't have a lens hood. So these are uh, the kit lens. I can't find one anyway. I don't know how to bloody screw it on anyway, but just use your hand to cover it and it turns out much better. You don't get all that flare coming out. Bloody, the whole of Parramatta is just one beep, beep, beep. Pissing me off. Does a city ever get finished being built? I've been on this earth for 51 years and every time I come to the city, beep, beep. <laughs> I guess the city never finishes being built. They're always knocking something down and rebuilding it. I mean, they knock things down. I mean, it's getting to the point where they're knocking things down after 20 years. Anyway, the ramblings of a mad street photographer. That's what I think I'll call this uh, episode. The ramblings of a mad street photographer. So it, was, it worked in that sort of uh, sort of thing, you know. So there was uh, there was John the Screw, right? John the Screw, yeah. Whether he had sex or not, or he worked in the prison. No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> <laughs>